Well, first of all, big win over the Commanders today. We heard outside of the locker room you guys were playing. Biggie, big energy. Just yeah. describe just the overall defensive vibe, the whole vibe from this team right I'm now. I'm just saying, we was rushing as a unit. <laughs> but nah, uh, you know, man, we've been working, we've been fighting. And um, it's, I'm just happy to see all my guys execute, man. The whole, the whole front just did their thing, man. And, you know, when we get to put it together like that, rushing as a unit. <laughs> when we get to put it together like that, man, it's a blessing. You had 12 tackles. Would you, would you say? Damn, 12 tackles? 12. Yes, you had the fumble recovery for the oh, first yeah. score on the night. Can you just talk about really quickly, was this your best game? I mean, it's just been a blessing. I've been working hard, and I've been watching films, so I just put it all together. And now, you know, we're just going to keep going. All right, we appreciate your time. Thank you. Big victory for the Giants here in the NFC East. We saw you talking to the cameras. What were you saying just now? I was just saying, you know, that was a big game. We needed this one. Came down to the wire. As you can see, it's a game of inches, but we came away with the win. And it uh, feels good. It feels good to see all these Giants fans out here in Washington. Talk about the effort of the defense because, you know, Ozilari and Dexter get that big, uh, yeah. you know, uh, sack here, and then you collect the fumble. Right. And then, but still, Tyler Heineke is pressing at the end yeah, trying yeah. to get it to Dotson. I mean, that was a very close game. Uh, we knew we didn't want to let it happen like last time. And, uh, you know, defense put the game on our shoulders. We kind of all talked to each other right there right before the uh, last play. And, you know, we said if we needed this, uh, put it on our back, and uh, we came away with it. Talk about the energy of this defense, particularly when all four guys who are supposed to be on the defensive line, including you, who was yeah. back for this game from a neck injury. Yeah, I mean, we had a lot of uh, ups and downs throughout the season. Uh, this is one of the first times we had all four of us uh, on the defensive line all together. And, uh, you know, it's a lot of energy. We're coming up with side bets and stuff like that to, like, see who's going to get the sack on every drive. Oh, side and, um, bets, huh? Yeah, yeah, we're motivating each other. We're trying to find ways to uh, keep pushing each other and make it fun. So what is the message here from the Giants? Because y'all were reeling. People were starting to say you're not a real seven-win team or what have you. So what is the message now from the Giants? Hey, the message is we don't quit, man. Uh, no matter what the outside noise is, we know what it is inside. And uh, we're going to keep fighting and, and, and keep winning. All right, you can let your hair out. <laughs> 30-something stadiums in this league. No corner not covered by our senior NFL insider, Josina Anderson. Uh, Joe, another crazy game here in the division. As we break down what we saw both during and after this ball game. I want to talk about Kayvon Thibodeau in a moment. But first, the general vibe around this team seems to have turned once again. You alluded to it there uh, with the big rusher there in Williams. That there were a lot of people doubting the Giants. Did you feel an exhale from this team and sort of the vibe surrounding them today? Oh, not only did I feel an exhale, I heard an exhale out of the <laughs> locker room after the game. Look like what you saw right there with Kayvon letting us know they're playing Biggie in the locker room. Big vibes after that win because let's tell the truth, they were wallowing with those losses and with that tie that they originally had against the commander. So they needed this game both uh, literally and figuratively to break that tie. But I really think that Kayvon Thibodeau set the tone uh, at the beginning of the game, getting that fumble recovery, letting you know not only what the defense was going to do but that he was going to be dominant in this game when the lights were on for him to get 12 tackles uh, especially with the big pressure on him as a big first round pick out of the draft showing up when his team really needs him that's why you were seeing all of that effusive uh, energy unbridled enthusiasm coming out of his uh, soundbite with us after the game you know there's different types of celebration and this one did feel like a, a celebration and an exhale all in one and that man right there he's an entertainer on and off field I just want to sort of take the temperature here on Kayvon Thibodeau we were talking in studio after the game did this feel like the coming out moment for the young man who really has all that star power and really played to match that star power here on Sunday night well, I feel like you started to see it a little bit in the previous game that we covered against the Giants. He had a, a you know a couple big stops, especially at the end of that game against the Ravens, and then you really saw it come together in terms of a little bit more of a complete game when you're talking about 12 tackles and setting the tone at the beginning of the game. But you know this is what they need from Kayvon, especially you know anchoring the edge of that rush for the Giants and being able to get the pressure. They had three sacks on Taylor Heineke tonight. I believe they had five in the previous game that they had um, against the Commanders before. But that was the energy that you expect, particularly when the Giants have all of their members along the defensive line between Aziz Ojolari, Dexter Lawrence, uh, Leonard Williams, and also Kayvon Thibodeau showing you, especially when they're together, they get the pressure on the quarterback. What they need to continue to work on is that run defense and stopping it through the middle because Brian Ro Robinson was still able to get over 80 yards rushing. I believe he had 96 in that game um, in the first one that they played of the season. So as they continue to make the playoffs, or at least try to, they're going to have to tighten up that run but at least they walk away from Landover, Maryland with the win tonight. Uh, that is right, and I believe the takeaway was rushing as a unit. 
Uh, Russian as a unit, something, <laughs> something to the effect. Uh, Russian Justina, as a unit. There it is. Not like 50 Cent. Better than me. Uh, <laughs> Vikings, Colts, Eagles is what the road ahead looks like for New York. No cupcakes. Uh, you'd hope that you walk away with a win against all three, specifically the Eagles. They'll probably be favored only in that matchup, if any, when we take a look at the road ahead. Any indication from that locker room of unfinished business? Oh, absolutely. And matter of fact, I asked Dexter Lawrence by his locker, what's the tone from this team as the Eagles and the Cowboys just try to pull away in the NFC East, let alone the remaining schedule that they have that you're talking about right there. Sounds like a gauntlet against what mm -hmm. you say, the Vikings, the Colts and the Eagles. None of them any gimmies, especially with the way the Vikings were able to come back against the Colts. Uh, the Colts at least showing you that they're still formidable with their new uh, coach, uh, Jeff Saturday, at least trying to get it together. And then obviously the Eagles still able to pull away from the Bears today. So they've got their work cut out for them but the New York teams are trying to hang in there they're trying to keep Josie and Anderson close to the local <laughs> area so I don't have to go too far to cover some of these games so they are hanging in for CBS Sports HQ they're trying <laughs> Josie and Anderson good in every building coast to coast but always close to home thank you Joe no problem back to you <laughs> Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.